Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and Apple has officially released today iOS 13 developer beta 8. Yes, that was very, very quick. Apple is definitely ramping up production and releasing a ton of betas before iOS 13 is officially released to the public. And of course, more betas mean more bug fixes and improvements to the software. Last week, we saw beta 7 on the 15th. Today, we see beta 8 on the 21st, so only six days in between from beta seven to beta eight. So Apple is definitely ramping up the production here. And that means only one thing. That means that Apple is definitely looking to release iOS 13 here very, very soon to the world. So one thing that's very apparent with iOS 13 developer beta eight is how Apple is refining the software even further. And I'll get to some of those details here momentarily. Before we get to that, the download was a very, very small download. Don't expect any major changes from here on out from betas to betas apple is pretty much done with the amount of features that are going to be added at least at this point we'll see more features most likely down the road but apple only released this beta with 129 megabytes i've seen 160 on different devices so it's going to depend on your device and the software that you're updating from i actually updated from beta 7 on this iphone uh, 10r now the latest build number for this beta ends on an a which means we could be getting even closer to a release uh, than we thought. So 17A5572A is the current uh, bill number for beta. Eight. Now, I've only had this beta running on this iPhone for approximately one hour. I haven't really had a chance to dig around the software and find everything that's new, but you guys can always anticipate my follow-up video in the next couple of days where I talk about the battery, the performance, any additional new features and changes that I come across after using the software for several days. You can anticipate that video here on the channel in the next two to three days. You can subscribe if you want to follow that information here. But one thing, as I mentioned, that is very apparent with iOS 13 is how Apple continues to polish up the software. So 3D touching on icons, this seems a very minimum, but Apple continues to add menus. This iPhone here is running beta seven. You see now we have an additional option here to start a timer, okay? Now let's take a look at 3D touching on the news application. Can you spot the difference? Take a look at CNN, Fox News. You see right there at the end where we have uh, dots here in beta seven, beta eight, has these little icons next to them. So again, minor refinements within the software and the animations and everything like that, but something that's definitely happening. And that's the reason for all of these uh, minor upgrades and minor update betas that will be coming in the next several days and weeks to come here. I'm expecting Apple to have at least 10 betas for iOS 13 and a gold master copy and then official release for the software shortly after that. Now, one thing that I've noticed so far is that the mail application appears to be loading the way it should. I know a lot of you guys have been complaining the mail application not loading your emails properly. I'm one of those people that have that issue, but over the past hour, I've seen the messages load, no more error issues on the bottom as well as for the files application. And it's just minor changes that are coming to the software are becoming apparent in the UI. Everything seems a little more polished. Animations are flowing very good. Everything seems to be going very, very well. Now, Apple just needs to continue to improve upon this software, and hopefully we'll have one more surprise from Apple, maybe a new feature before its official launch, which I'm expecting this to be anywhere from September 16th through the 20th. So anywhere between there is when we can expect the official release of iOS 13. But anyway, guys, just a very quick update video here. The latest beta is out for developers, public beta testers. I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Expect my follow-up video here shortly, as I mentioned. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.